up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Josh. And gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Shots. My shot this morning is a monster because I'm just waking up. We're doing we're doing this a lot earlier than we usually do, so <laughs> I'm just barely getting my day started here. Actually, just kicking off our day. Great segue. Okay. We have it has officially started our Kickstarter this this week. Um, what so what today would be Thursday, so like three days ago it it dropped. <laughs> so. Oh, I see what when you the, did there. You see what I just did? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know I got, you got really confused for a second, but yeah. Uh, Rob, go a little bit into our Kickstarter, man. Well, uh, like Danny said last week, this is more uh, a pre-sale of our album that we are going to be dropping uh, November 5th. Uh, but this is just to help uh, you guys, to help us, to help you, to help us get more stuff to give to you when this album does drop. Um, whether you're getting a t-shirt package or a CD package or a digital download, every little bit helps. And it's basically each one you buy or each tier will help us further push this project to bigger heights. Um, oh, yeah. and, with, and when we start breaking certain levels of how much we've made, uh, it'll open up more stuff where we will be autographing stuff. We will be uh, doing video calls um, or even um, video events where you, who put forth into this project, will be joining us and uh, watching a special CD release party that we are going to be hosting ourselves. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to be a fun event. We're going to try to crank out a couple songs acoustic, just sitting around and partying with you guys live. So um, this should be a real fun thing for everyone to be a part of this project with us. <clears throat> Danny. Most definitely, man. Yeah, go for it, Danny. What you got? What you got, Danny? Let's yeah, no, nah, man. It's it's like Rob said. I, I've kind of, I kind of view it like a pre-sale. And then there's, he said, there's a digital download. There's you, there's options for CDs with shirts. There's options for like autograph CDs and it goes going all the way to the point to where if we hit 10 grand, we're going to open up and start uh, offering vinyl, which is kind of the big, one of the big kind of ultimate goals for us here is to be able to have that in our physical merch would be cool. Yeah. So that's would be kind of one of the big goals. And then of course, you know, with some of these things, if you get a lot of pledges, you could get more than that. And if it keeps growing, we're going to put it in probably to some music videos, some other things, you know, promotional stuff. And <clears throat> yeah, man, Josh, so anything you want to say about 30, it? We got 30 days. So 30 days. Well, I, I never expected to be a part of a project where we're in discussions of we want to make vinyls of something we've actually put out. So that's pretty cool to be a part of. But yeah. like you guys were mentioning, if we're able to hit the tier we're looking for with the autograph stuff, I do have some drum heads and some old symbols and stuff that I'm going to get you guys to sign with me as well. So we'll have more merch we can offer as well to put into that package. And I'll try and keep some used stuff from shows we have. So instead of chucking it out, we can date it and everything and then offer those off as well. That's awesome. I like that. Those, those are great. Those are great ideas. Yeah, man. Uh, I just want to say uh, I just released the first video promoting it today. And um, my the top of my phone, like Instagram notifications just keep going off of people leaving comments on it right now. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, turn it off. I really just do feel we are in a I, <laughs> I really I really do feel I really do feel like we are in a great position with the, the community that we've built on TikTok and uh and our instagram and just our our very supportive family and friends i really do believe that we are going to crush this goal so I, i'm looking forward to this yeah yeah well um, i feel like it's if you ever wanted the opportunity to come in and support us in a big way here it is you there know? it is exactly speaking yeah. of crushing goals rob deadpool and wolverine just crushed a big one right oh yes it did yeah. one billion grossing over one billion in the box office yeah, hell yeah, man. That's uh, insane, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so what that does is that leaves its mark in history as the first rated R movie uh, to be number one and break a billion. So 
What was what was the movie? Awesome. Does anybody know the movie that it that it surpassed? Oh, I do. So I'm out. But if you guys want to take guesses of what the number one grossing box office movie, Ra- uh, box box office movie or rated R movie? Box office movie, because we know rated R movie. The top one is Deadpool. And I'm going to say it's probably some bullshit like Avatar, like something like that. <laughs> is it? Was it? It's Avatar. Yeah. yeah. It's I don't Avatar. understand how that movie is the highest grossing movie ever, and uh, I've spoken to absolutely nobody that's ever watched that movie. So, well, <laughs> I mean, like never... let's be honest. You, you took the guy that made yeah. Aliens, it, you know, oh. and he's. He's got this franchise that he, you know, kind of helped mold into something different. You know, before Alien was more like a suspenseful sci-fi movie, and he made it more action and and cranked it up a notch. So everyone was kind of like, oh, okay, and then Terminator. And you're like, fuck, okay, like, this guy's got action. And so what did he do? He took the story of Pocahontas and fucking added action, you know? Mm. He made it for a man. <laughs> I guess you could say. So, oh, dude, that is so on the point, too. That's funny as shit. I, I mean, <laughs> if you prefer Ferngully, it's the same fucking story. Like, it, I mean, you can only tell a tale so many times, but he made it for the visual aspect of look at where we were at with sci-fi and CG and, and everything. Yeah. And, did you watch the second one that came out recently? I did. Yeah? Mm-mm. Yeah? No? I sat um, through it. By the way, you said Ferngully. Ferngully is a fucking childhood staple of my my <laughs> of my life, dude. I love that movie so much. It's awesome. Um, uh, but uh, I mean, childhood movie segue. Uh, there we go. The there we go. So one of my childhood movies comes out this week. Debbie does Beetle Dallas too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said Debbie does Dallas too. <laughs> no, that came out years ago. <laughs> no beetlejuice beetlejuice comes out yes this week and i'm really looking forward to it i'm trying to keep my expectations low uh mm-hmm. i got overhyped when i heard michael keaton was coming back as batman in the flash movie and so i gotta keep my expectations <clears throat> down here um the only spoiler i did here is that he didn't want to be in the movie any yep. longer than he was in the original. And I think in this Sorry. one, he is only wow. one minute longer. Yeah, it's 16 That's minutes. That's crazy. He did it on so, purpose. But, I was going to ask you if you saw that, because like, you were talking like, I can't wait to see if he has more time. And he did an interview where he's like, nope, I did minute. not want any more time. I wanted the exact amount because the movie is not me. That's that's Sorry, that's man. awesome, because he literally could have just... To, they could have they could have did the whole movie with him the entire way through and you know what I mean and the fact that he was but willing that, to hold back on that hear me was cool. children of the 80s and you know late 70s we had the Beetlejuice <laughs> cartoon and mm-hmm. that whole cartoon Dude. was based around the relationship of Lydia and Beetlejuice yes. and how they worked together the whole time that's what people are wanting the movie is to have more of the interaction between those two. And I think that they're kind of like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Is Tim Burton known to drop the ball all the fucking time, but, (laughs) but let's go into it. But he puts his twist and his spin on it. And so I don't know if he may be getting to the age where it's just like, okay, uh, let's, Let's let Uncle Tim, you know, have his resting moment and, you know, go off peacefully in the sunset. You know, we don't know if we're there yet or not. So I'm kind of just sitting with anticipation to see how this movie is going to do, you know. Yeah, man, I am just very much hoping that it's better than uh, the second Dumb and Dumber, because that movie really disappointed me when that shit happened, dude. I fuck, man. The second or the third? Well, what's considered the actual sequel, not the prequel, not the prequel one. The <laughs> prequel was considered a, a sequel, wasn't it? Uh, I, I think so. I didn't like that one either, though, man. I, I don't know. Dumb and Dumber just holds a, a, a special tear in my movie, in my movie watching. I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, um, 
I really hope that it's that it's good. Rob, I've got a question for you. Do you know uh, how much of the original cast is in this second movie? Like, did everybody come back? I haven't really checked out the casting of it. No, so they they got rid of the Deets. Okay. Um, Deets Davis and Alec Baldwin aren't in this one. Um, and then the father is killed off. And so that starts out with them at the funeral for the oh, father. Oh, okay. Uh, which is a smart way to write him off, I guess. Being Why is he, uh, and everything I was, like that. So. I was going to say, is he uh, problematic? I, I don't know anything about the actor. So, Josh? No, oh, well, I say, we discussed him weeks ago. He's huh. one of the ones who got in trouble with the child stuff. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah. It Kill that dude off. Write him off. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. was... I remember the Seventh Heaven thing happening. I didn't know he was uh, part of that. It was... Yeah. It was all in the same time well, period. They all got yeah, yeah, same same era, but it wasn't the same case, right? Like they weren't working together. And but... the seventh heaven dude got ratted out by his therapist. Oh, uh, that's crazy! That's how he dude. got caught. But yeah, that's how he got yeah. caught. Yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of puts a, a whole spin on that Principal Rooney thing from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Have, have any of you guys seen the new Alien movie that came out? I have haven't not. seen it yet. No. Uh, I saw it last week. It was. I, I, I haven't watched a lot of Alien movies. I think like the last one I maybe have seen is like Alien versus Predator. Like that's that's literally like the last one that I've seen. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you're not the best when it comes to watching movies. Yeah, man. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still have to watch the other one that you that Josh gave me over here. Uh, but you yeah. Better fucking watch that before the show. <laughs> damn it. Otherwise, our opener is going to make no goddamn sense. It makes no fucking sense. Just... Yeah. Oh, man. I got to I gotta watch it. You know what? Tomorrow's a day off. The wife will be home. Maybe we'll watch it together tomorrow. So. It's like a 90-minute movie, too. It's a short-ass yeah. movie. Good luck. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But it does the uh, job. Yeah. No, I uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Um, If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure, like, the robot from the first alien movie is in this movie as well. Like he's, they, they go to the, to the ship, the, like the, where everything first happened is what it is. David and, uh, Ray, right? Yeah. And the, the, it's the same actor stuff too. The way they, the way they, you could tell it was all like AI generated. Well, not AI generated, but you know what I mean? They, uh, yeah. it just, I just thought it was really cool. It was, it took a little while to get going for me. I think like halfway through the movie, I like turned over and told my buddy, I'm like, they should have called this movie fucking humans because there hasn't been a single alien yet. I was like, what the fuck is this going on? <laughs> I was like, but, but, once, but once the aliens started kicking in, it was pretty dope. I, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I highly, I, I recommend it. Yeah. Quick, Does uh, it bro, make bro. sense in the timeline though? Um, I couldn't tell you because I haven't watched all the alien movies, so. Hell yeah. yeah. Reliable source over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> it made me hey, it made sense enough to me. I felt like I feel like you could watch this movie and not be lost because you didn't see the other ones. So, you know, it had its own story. It had its own plot going through. It was cool. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rob, you were talking about uh, we were talking about ch- childhood favorite movies. Let's want to want to do a quick round robin of that. Oh uh, yeah, but I got a shit ton. Uh, you go around. Are, like, are uh, we picking like a genre? Like. No, childhood just just comedy, just childhood. just in general, give like maybe like three of like your favorite movies you watched all the time as a kid. So like for me, Beetlejuice, uh, Star Wars, Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, and Star Wars. You said that was nice. Yeah, all the time. Hell yeah! I thought you said juice, not Beetlejuice. <laughs> <He's just laughs> like, what? Juice. <laughs> what? You said yeah. kids movies, man. Um... And also, ironically, the movie Kids is not for kids. Just so you know. <laughs> Um, I would probably have to say Hook, uh, Five O Goes West, and probably the Jungle Book cartoon. I used to watch that a lot as a kid. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah, dude. Hook, I think Hook, Hook is up there for me as well. Hook, um, The Sandlot, and uh, the movie Rookie of the Year. I loved that movie <laughs> when I was growing up. Mine, mine's a little bit more twisted. There we go. Uh, uh, but I grew up, you know, watching, you know, like you pretty much 
you went out and played on the weekends and then Sundays you'd come home and you'd do housework or whatever you'd pick up around the house so you would be stuck watching whatever was on TV and Channel 5 would pretty much play like classic action movies so for me it's They Live um, you, Predator and uh, Beetlejuice Hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, Predator was on yeah. Channel 5? Yeah. Damn. Well, I mean, it was like, you know, the 6 o'clock matinee movie or whatever. I gotcha. And then and if, so, if there was the, the bad words, they'd either bleep it or the script, the scene would get cut out real quick. So it would skip. Yeah, it just edited it out like a uh, 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 stutter. Um, but, uh, you I still it think one of my favorite things like they do is when they like redub over <clears throat> the word with something yeah. ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's the best. Uh, and the volumes don't favorite, even match. Yeah, my favorite <laughs> one is from uh, Snakes on a Plane. Oh Jesus, what's and, that? And he says, um, "I'm tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday through Friday plane." Monkey fighting snakes. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta wow. find a clip of this. <laughs> I gotta find Whoever a clip of it. came up with that? Just pure genius. Like if you can, if you get a chance and you see it on TV, just honestly, sometimes. I hope that it was. I hope that it was Samuel L. Jackson that recommended it. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I got it. This is it right here. <laughs> this is what it is. You got this. this. Is what it is. Um, oh, but now going back real quick to highest grossing movie of all time, if we account for inflation, so like. Movies weren't always twenty dollars to get to. Uh, before they were, you know, you could go see a movie for five bucks, and before that, mm -hmm. they were a hell lot cheaper than that. So, what do you think, with the account of inflation, what the highest grossing movie of all time? With the high, um, I don't know, some probably something like Titanic or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anyone else got a guess? Um. How far back are you going, or is just since theater existed? Theater existed. What about like Gone with the Wind or some shit like that? Right but there. You the got it. Oh shit! Nice guess, Josh. Yeah! I would never thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> no. So they're saying the equivalent would be uh, if Gone with the Wind came out in modern time, it would have made four point five billion. God damn. Just spanking Imagine. everything else. Uh, and, you know, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hills are alive with a lot more than the sound of music there, you know? Right, seriously. Damn. Money. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah. Did you guys hear well, about uh, Happy Gilmore 2 coming out? So that's for sure. Yeah, uh, they, started, they started filming it like last week, I think it, I think it was. Yeah. So, didn't we, remember nice. we saw remember we saw shooter yeah we shooter did see shooter game. yeah we were so uh, Danny and I we went to go see uh uh Emerosa? was it when we went to go yeah. see Emerosa? yeah Troubadour yeah so out. we so so we went with the wives to go see Emerosa and we and Danny and I were walking down uh, it was we're walking like we were walking past some like bar or whatever it was right Danny and as we're passing by I'm kind of just walking and I'm looking at the guy and I'm like Hey, Danny, is that Shooter McGavin? And he looks, he's like, yep, sure is. He's like, he's like yep, sure is. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, he, saw, he, I saw the other day that they, they were saying that it's 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 going. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is great. Uh, Nick, you also Nick, said the other day that there was another sequel that was greenlit. What's that? Tropic Thunder 2. Are you serious? Yeah. There's no way, been... dude. How, how, how are they going to do yeah, Tropic Danny, Thunder how, 2 in 2024? Doing? How are you going to get, how are you going to get? I'll be there. I want to yeah. see it though. Yeah, I want to see, I want to see it. <laughs> I'm just like, who are we piss off? It's like a South Park movie. I was talking to right. Danny about this. Like, you constantly have to just like, oh, we're going to nudge this and push this and see yeah. what they can get away with. I just want to know who, uh, who, what, who Robert Downey Jr. is coming back as. It's got... I, I hope it's, you know, something completely different. They're going to release that. They're going to release that first. 
equally like a, as insane you know like if you tried to do the spin. pigmentation change back and it came out <laughs> orange oh see what i'm saying <laughs> nice he's just a fucking simpsons character or what like a... <laughs> with the hair flapping yeah i just think it would be great if they released tropic thunder 2 with him as the same character just so it's not as jarring when they announce that he's going to be black panther in like the avengers or whatever the fuck <laughs> good point man oh man so uh rob it's been a few it's been a few weeks now since they've talked about uh robert downey jr becoming dr doom uh the internet reacting to it was very interesting to me it was was very like split decision there was no real down the middle of people like oh let's wait and see it's very much i love this shit or i hate it um has your opinion on that changed at all? Like, I, I still personally can't wait to see it. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued in this scene, what they're going to do with it and which angle they're going to go about approaching it with. Yeah. Uh, but I can understand why everyone's pissed off, too. I mean, you, you can't play multiple characters in the MCU if you haven't been a part of the Fantastic Four. Uh, it just, <laughs> right, yeah. that's that's actually very true. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's where it's and that's happens. why they're pissed off that he's changing. It's like, no, you, you can't change. You're Iron Man. If you yeah. were a member of the Fantastic Four, you could be anyone else in this MCU. But you can't do. You can't just be switching willy nilly on us. A multiverse. I guess uh, the rumor is that uh, one of the upcoming movies that I think maybe they were talking about the Fantastic Four movie that's coming out. That one of the end credit the end credit scenes supposed to be Doctor Doom going and like wiping out all the Kangs and like the uh, that were all together in that uh, in that hall or whatever when he brought them all together all the all the different Kangs that way they can get rid of that character completely so should be interesting I don't know man I'm still really I'm really interested like you said I'm really interested to see how they're gonna do it I think the best bet is to do multiverse Tony Stark where he's still technically Tony Stark but he's the you know the Doctor Doom version of Tony Stark, so because there's a there's a comic book where they did that and the interaction that they could have with Tony Stark, Doctor Doom, and Spider Man, I think would be pretty dope. You know, <clears throat> you know what I think would be really dope would be a uh, a weird science too. <laughs> a weird <laughs> science too. Yeah, do you remember him uh, being in that? Was Bring he? That was he in? Back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're That's right. A, yeah, dude, it's been a while like since I've seen it. I actually it. have seen Weird Science. It's just been a while. <laughs> it's just been a while. That's yeah. a great movie. Uh, what else? We, what else? What else we got on the on the on the the agenda here, Rob? What else you want to talk about? Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been giving love to Little Karma, and even some of the older songs that we've been putting out. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're constantly getting hit with your comments and we're feeling the love. And I want to say thank you. Uh, I know Mark goes out and responds to him and posts the video of his responses, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, Like he says, you guys are the reason we do this shit. So, I mean, don't get us wrong. We love the music, Uh, but you guys keep us going and and wanting to keep doing it. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, Rob, I want to talk a little bit to you about TikTok and how you are absolutely 10, loved on followers. that. 10,000 followers. 10,000 followers. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. This is a deal that's not fucking changing. Once if we hit if the, uh, the band page followers. hits 10K, Rob comes to TikTok. I'm saying that right now so I can clip this and post this on TikTok so everybody knows. You better because <laughs> I'm, I'm not bending on this one. Because, dude... <laughs> every, Dude, as soon as I posted that video, like the next day, it's just like, oh, Rob, we miss you, this and that. We need more Rob. We love Rob. You're so funny, this and that. Like, they, they love your content, bro. They love they, – I'm, I'm telling you, they're getting tired of seeing this little brown face, bro. You know what I mean? They need something different. <laughs> Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> Tell them to repost that shit. Send it to people, you know? Yeah. Let's get, let's get Rob on there. Well, they can always yeah. follow me on my only feet. Only feet? <laughs> That's I'm right. Getting ready to drop a new calendar. Twenty twenty five is coming up. It's a twelve ninety nine. It's twelve ninety nine. A buck for each toe. You know what I mean? So <laughs> even that heel one. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got the heel fucking... <laughs> I got the heel, heel toe. Toe. It took you a second to get it. If you, if you order now, I'll throw in the video of me scaling a wall with just my toenails. How big is this wall? You just, you just stepping rock. over it? I was going to say, man, yeah, you're just stepping over this wall in two steps. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Nah. If I can sweep um, down from a branch, I can grab a fish in the water with my feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not like so, you'd want to eat it afterwards, but you know, you get the idea. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So once again, before we start wrapping this up, you guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been giving us. Like we're all the same. Um, we have links in our bios to absolutely everything. Please check out our Kickstarter. Find yourself something cool that you would like to get for yourself. That's also going to help us in return. Uh, let's grow together. Let's do this together. I think we're going to smash it. <clears throat> Kind of gonna, I'm kind of gonna hold off on plugging the Patreon a little bit right now, but it's still there if you guys want to look into that as well. But um, we're, our focus right now is gonna be just really pushing this Kickstarter. So get used to seeing this face because it's gonna be every single day I'm gonna be pushing this thing. So, <laughs> um, which by the way, Rob, if you'd like to send me some uh, some Kickstarter videos to to post, I'll do those as well. So just I think you just did one right time. now. That's what he was doing. I think you just did one right now. <laughs> Yeah, you guys. You guys got any uh, last things you want to talk about before we before we wrap this up? Uh, we got a couple big announcements coming up. Uh, like I said, November fifth, we're going to be dropping our album. That's yeah. the big one. Same drops Friday the thirteenth. Uh, pre saves are in the bio for that. Uh, if you guys are going to be in the California area, the Southern California area, Halloween night, we are playing at the District in Redlands, California, and November second, we'll be playing at Goodfellas Bar in Ranch Cucamonga. Please come out. Let's have a good time. It's going to be an awesome time, man. Like, I'm looking forward to these shows. We actually have rehearsal in a bit. I'm, I mean, tomorrow. We have rehearsal tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> you mean a couple of days ago? A couple of days ago. We have, a, we have rehearsal a couple of days ago. Bro, now we're getting real meta, dude. That's but crazy. We <laughs> <rehearsal today. laughs> <coming> over. Yeah. <laughs> If you're hey, watching man. this, we're probably practicing right now. If, you, if you're if you're watching this, rehearsal was awesome. You know what I'm saying? It was great. The best one we've had. So let's go. <laughs> uh, All right, we guys. We throw up our music so other people can have rehearsal with us. Like, right? Oh, yeah, you guys rehearse. I'm going to hear what you guys sound like. Hey, Josh. I mean, you know, we, uh, we have had a couple people do that. Like, submit the videos of them playing our music. And hey, yeah, man. I love it. Keep them. Keep them coming. Yeah, those are we'll always cool, man. Together and make a whole other album. Let's go. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Uh, Josh, you were talking about because uh, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, Josh has a, a second band as well. You were talking about being a uh, uh, like you're like I don't want to squeeze two rehearsals in on the same day. Uh, <laughs> It'd be really funny if like both bands just got in the room and we just alternated songs back and forth. <laughs> All right, this one, let's go to this one, let's go to that one, <laughs> go back and forth. Um, I I think it would be doable. If there was only you and Rob, but not with Luna there, because I think that having all three of you guys in the room together, uh, that that would be a little too much for me. I think we have to switch <laughs> off. Like, hey, you go outside, you go wait, fucking right now, because I don't think I could take the other band serious with you guys making faces and shit at me while I'm trying to focus <laughs> on the other band. At least you know exactly what we'd be doing. <laughs> At least you know exactly what we'd be doing. <laughs> like, I already struggle enough as it is trying to focus on our shit while we're at the studio trying to take it serious, and then I look over and Dustin's fucking making faces because he's trying to get a solo. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll stick to one band at a time. Oh, man. All righty, guys. You guys, this has yeah, been the last thing. The hallway, thing to... the, hallway is actually, the hallway is actually the best place to jam, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah Danny goes over there every once in a while too. Yeah, you're gonna jam in the hallway. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, Danny just out, leaves the room, the and goes around the corner. Get your ears in, you just hang out out there. It's just nice and cool out there. Yeah. Comes Stop comes there. back with a bottle of water and a hot pocket. Still playing, dude. Looking. <laughs> and the water's Still cold. Dead. Yeah. Get in my car. Go down to Seven Eleven. <laughs> Imagine you just driving down the block, fucking shredding still. Like, <laughs> that would be a hell of a wireless pack, bro. If you made it. <laughs> oh it's man, it's gonna rage in like three miles. Okay, I'm good. Hopefully the <laughs> airbags don't deploy. Oh shit! <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Oh, it's out of tune. <laughs>
This has been the last days of war, guys. This has been the last days of Warcast, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please take the time to share everything that we got going on. We love you for it. We will catch you guys next week. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>